just that they just thought that we're cool. Probably cool. I think they were talking about the situation. I think it's us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's what I'm going with. Right. <laughs> well, we're back. Uh, Blake here from Screen Innovations. And if you've started to watch this video, you're really interested in learning more about 4K. So we're going to have a little bit of a roundtable discussion. Amy's still with me from Sony. Yep. And I brought Tom in, our um, technologies manager here at Screen Innovations, our resident guru. And we wanted to talk a little bit more with Amy about really what is 4K. We kind of alluded to it in the, in the video before, but let's talk about in detail resolution. Let's yes. throw out the big numbers. I would love to. So the VW1000ES has native 4K. It's actually the first and the only native 4K projector for the home theater on the market at this time. Now, native 4K, that's, yes. a, that's an important word, native 4K. It's truly one of a kind in its release, right? Absolutely. This technology uh, we're actually borrowing from our digital cinema side. So this is the same resolution technology that you're going to find in your local AMC or, or Regal Theater. Okay. Go ahead, Tom. I, I was just going to say 4K, uh, 4K has been around for a while. They've been using it natively to shoot uh, uh, movies for quite some time now, haven't they? It's just, uh, just now kind of getting around to getting into the home. Why has it taken so long? That's a great question. So 4K has been around for about a decade now. Actually, Sony launched the first native 4K digital cinema projector back in 2005 and now mm -hmm. has over 11,000 um, 4K digital cinema projectors worldwide. Mm -hmm. Why has it taken so long to get in the home? Well, it's extremely expensive. Um, this or up to now. Yeah, up to now. So let's, uh, let's back that up for a second. Because let's see, before this projector was released, mm -hmm. A uh, 4K residential projector would be what, $170,000? Yeah, our closest competitor was about one seventy-five. So at twenty-five thousand dollars for this projector, it's really it's a bargain. It is. It yeah. is. It's. Um, I, I need three. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> one for every room. Well, you know, put a kind of a reality spin on this. You know, I've been doing projections and screens for quite a few years. This is, you know, a hundred. Uh, literally a year ago, let's think about that. A year ago, this was a hundred and twenty-five to one hundred seventy-five thousand dollar image. It's now twenty five thousand dollars, which in that's that's, and it's four more than four times the resolution of ten eighty p. So it's actually I consider it a value piece, considering oh, what you're absolutely. getting out of it. Absolutely. You know, not only are we getting the four K resolution, but with the zoom feature. Now we alluded to this in our other video. I said it kind of quickly. We can do two three five, yep. but we can do sixteen by nine. But there are other aspect ratios. Which how many memory presets do you have available? There's a for total students? of five of them. So, so five memory yep. presets. Yep. Three of them are custom, user customizable. So the standard 235 uh, 16 and 16 by 9, by nine but mm -hmm. then we can set it up for any of the other aspect ratios that we yep. feel, or your dealer can. An important factor mm -hmm. to note about 4K, 2K resolution also is it's not natively 16 by 9 aspect ratio, is it? It is not. Nope. Actually, 2K is about 7% larger than, uh, than 1080p. Mm -hmm. And, and for same you, goes for 4K. For you techno buffs, it's uh, 1.8. 896 to 1 yes. is the actual ratio. Yep. So you would have even less black bars on either side if you're showing this on a native 235 screen. Mm -hmm. So it's a really nice feature when you are using the zoom function, but you want to also use the projector in its native mode. There's very little loss in mm -hmm. screen size overall when you start with a 235 screen. It's kind of cool. So these panels are actually 4096 by 2160, which according to the DCI spec, that is true 4K. Okay. Now, we alluded also this earlier in the video, but let's get into a little more detail about future proofing of this product. Mm -hmm. The current version, the latest version of HDMI, supports 4K at yes. 24 frames per second. Over a single HDMI. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what if we go to 60 frames per second? That's a great question. So. Our engineers have actually committed to us that if the next version of HDMI does support higher frame rates, such as 60, um, this projector will be both hardware and firmware updatable to support that. That's huge. Yeah, it definitely is. It future proofs it. And, well, the early adopters out there are used to things kind of changing after their acceptance of the new products, mm -hmm. but that's yep. really very cool that they've actually looked that far out mm -hmm. and it is going to be future proofed. I don't feel like I'm having to wait for the next generation or the third generation. I feel Sony, pretty comfortable. I mean, we truly believe that 4K is the next resolution, so we plan on supporting it. I'm with you. Yeah. I, I mean, folks, again, you, you see the videos that we're shooting, but you've got to truly see this in person to believe it. Uh, as we talked about before, I could stand a foot away and see no pixel structure. But more importantly, there was one scene we shot earlier where we shot a book, literally pictured a book up on the screen, and the resolution from way back in the room made it very easy to read, also from very close up, mm -hmm. even with small, small text. 
you're going to see to fine detail. And because <clears throat> we're using those native 4K um, panels, the 8.8 mm -hmm. .8 million pixels, um, it's going to be very, very sharp. So we've talked also like, mostly again about the movie situation, but when we start, I was really intrigued by what you mentioned about PlayStation. Mm -hmm. um, how is the PlayStation, not just not to put, but providing 4K content, how is that going to work? Is it, is it pictures? Is it movies also eventually? Video games? So right now it's only pictures mm -hmm. through PlayStation memories. Um, do we believe that native 4K Blu-ray players are going to be coming on the market? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, we already have 4K panels with the, the VW1000 4K projector. Um, we definitely believe that, that 4K players will be coming. And, and Blu-ray supports 4K resolution already, so it's not like we're going to have to invent a pink ray. So it, <laughs> it is capable. Um, there is no 4K Blu-ray um, on the horizon at this time, but mm -hmm. Sony is in talks with the Blu-ray Disc Association. Is it um, physically possible? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So native 4K will fit on a, a dual-layer Blu-ray. I've got a great question. Sure. Still photographers these days. Mm -hmm. Remember the old slideshows? Well, I'm guessing with all these 8, 10, 12, 14, 20 megapixel still shot cameras, it's very difficult to see the raw images on any kind of display. Mm -hmm. yep. Can they be shown in near raw format on this projector? Yes. So high resolution images can be shown on this projector. I'm glad you mentioned that because that's where I was going with the PlayStation. Because, you know, when you've got one of these new uh, you know, cameras, that, not, I'm not talking about iPhones, mm -hmm. I'm talking about a real camera, and they go to 8, 12 megapixels. Mm -hmm. Well, when you put out something that's 8.5 by 11, who cares how, if it's 8,000 megapixels, right? right? I mean, when you see something on a 100 inch or 120 inch or 180 inch screen. That's where the image really starts breaking down, yeah. And who wouldn't like to see that? I mean, I'd love to see my kids mm -hmm. on our 100 inch screen, mm -hmm. which I do all the time. So that was kind of a lead in. It's like reliving those memories. But I didn't have yeah. it on the PlayStation. So I'm really excited about the fact that I can take my PlayStation and get that type of resolution out. Because yep. let's face it, that, 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 that type of resolution image would make me want to watch that more. Often. Absolutely. And Absolutely. I think I remember you saying earlier that uh, the projector is Adobe RGB color space compliant, which basically means 97% of the color spectrum can be shown accurately on this screen, and that's huge. So if you're into digital photography, you want to show an amazing, spectacular slideshow, mm -hmm. there's no better way to do it. That's very true. Not only Adobe RGB, um, obviously Rec. 709, but also DCI standards um, for mm. color. Well, let's talk a little bit about the light engine. Mm -hmm. um, I was astonished at the black levels, especially yes. with 2,000 lumens. Yes. What, are you, what type of light engine are you using? So we're actually using a 330-watt UHP lamp, um, relatively inexpensive to replace. Replacement cost is going to be about $700 um, SPPG. Um, yeah, and regarding the black levels, we have, we have brand new panels that actually give us, they're specially designed for 4K, mm -hmm. and they actually give us an amazing 1 million to 1 dynamic contrast. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. And do always keep in mind that with Black Diamond technology, we do improve contrast by 900% measured, 900% wow. not made up marketing 900%. So <laughs> you, you still won't get any better blacks than with a Black Diamond mixed mm -hmm. with the, with the uh, projector. But I also, again, we did actually point out in the, in the previous video about the looks, mm -hmm. the Death Star look. There's more to it than just looks. That's actually the intake vent, correct? It is. Yep, the, the gold uh, necklace or whatever you want to call it around the, <laughs> the, bling, bling, around the lens. Baby. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that is the intake, um, and then it exhausts out the back. The great thing also about this is this design is it does not require a filter. It's filterless. Okay, so you don't have to clean any filters out. You don't I, have to replace one. I think the only problem I found with it mm -hmm. is, uh, and, and I have to admit this was, I did this, uh, the other day when I left, uh, because it was projecting black on a black diamond, mm -hmm. and it's so quiet. Yes. You can't tell it's on. It's if, amazing. If you're projecting yeah. black or a lack of image onto a black diamond, and you're not going to hear the projector. So, I, I mean, I would feel very comfortable placing this right above someone's head or right on somebody's uh, coffee table. Mm -hmm. The noise is not a factor. Oh, absolutely. The VW1000 has been designed from the ground up to be for the home theater. Mm -hmm. So, um, very quiet and low lamp mode. It's about uh, 22 decibels. So wow. Whisper quiet. That is whisper quiet. Yep. That is truly whisper quiet. Because again, like I said, I was standing next to it and didn't even know it was on. Yeah. So, so pro quality. <clears throat> pro quality. Home quiet. Absolutely. Oh, That's you just cool. made that Best up. Best of both worlds. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. So um, now we've talked about Black Diamond, mm -hmm. and obviously we've shot our video on Black Diamond, but let's face it, white screens, fantastic. Yes. Dark rooms, where you still, you still want to put that on a white screen if you need to. 
Um, we, we talked about you guys did a 180 inch screen, which we can do with our solar 1.3 game material out there in, in dealer land. Also our lunar gray material and our acoustically transparent woven materials uh, would work exceptionally well as well. So we don't, want to, we don't want to pigeonhole you out there and thinking that this only works with black diamond. It works best with black diamond. <laughs> but, uh, but it also works with all the other screen materials that we at Screen Innovations produce as well. Let's see, if we missed anything, um, we've, we've covered resolution. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we've covered the, the, the different Each aspect ratios in Zoom. Talked about the experience of both movies, TV, and uh, video games, what's coming mm -hmm. on with PlayStation. Yep. Uh, let's make sure that we absolutely add the fact that this projector with black diamond material is the best all around image quality whether you're in an ambient light situation or not. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is definitely the way to go. The pair is absolutely perfect together. I agree with you on that. Well, if you have any other questions, do check us out on the web at ScreenInnovations.com, of course, and Sony.com as well. And if you'd like to email us any questions, you can send those to Blake at ScreenInnovations.com. And we'll forward those over to Amy as well, to we Sony. Have a, we have a website specifically for the oh, really? 4K and for this projector. Uh, so we did talk about that earlier. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> www.Sony.com slash 4K. Excellent. So. Excellent. So, again, welcome to the beginning of the revolution. The 4K revolution has begun. Yep. And, of course, Sony is leading the charge. It is. Thank you so much. It's Thanks. Thanks for coming down, here. Amy. Yep. I think we got everything now.